This is Transformers Dark of the Moon Voyager class Skyhammer. The figure is part of the second wave of the Voyager class figures for the Dark of the Moon toy line. And it is a beauty. I mean, I love this figure. And if you've seen uh, another video I've done where Alex reviewed this one, you, you'll know that she also like, likes the figure. She's been looking for this one ever since. I, I, I just, just decided to put it away so I could do a review on it. And, uh, yeah. So anyway, uh, great, great looking figure. But before we begin, a uh, big shout out to all those who still manage to put up with this channel, for keeping subscribed. We're over 4,500 subscribers. Thank you. Thank you, everybody, for, for really supporting this channel. Uh, the second thing is, um, for those of you who want to uh, keep tabs of what I, uh, what are my recent purchases, uh, toy purchases, and my upcoming reviews, you can follow me on Twitter, uh, www.twitter.com slash fxfriends. Thank you to those who have managed to follow me on Twitter. Um, thank, uh, thank you, and, and I do hope to keep you guys updated as, as, uh, as often as I can. And uh, third, uh, people still ask me where I get my stuff. Uh, this is like a broken record, uh, but I do get my stuff from three stores here in the Philippines. Yes, I am from Manila, Philippines. I live in, in one of the cities in Metro Manila, and uh, I get my stuff on, everybody say it, retail. And retail means Toys R Us, Toy Kingdom, and a certain particular hobby store, which is a big favorite of mine because the owner is a friend of mine, are toys. So everything I get is on retail. I hardly get anything online. If I do so, I make sure to mention it in the video. And uh, other than that, the stuff I have on, on review that I review are on retail. Okay, on to the figure. No packaging today since it's exactly the same as the Optimus Prime packaging. I will, however, talk about the instruction manual. Now, as I mentioned in my Megatron review, this one is a better version of the Voyager class instruction, or at, at least for this figure. And what, as you can see, uh, they, they've already started using the photography. And uh, what's interesting is that they show you the, the actual step-by-step -step of what the actual figure looks like, uh, be it in black and white. And um, unlike the Megatron figure, this one actually shows you which uh, pegs to tab into to which ports. Uh, as you can see here and several other places like here. Uh, they sh I don't know if you can see that. There you go. Yeah, they, they actually show you that that peg pegs onto that hole and stuff like that. So very, very informative. Uh, but this instruction booklet is not perfect. Uh, Hasbro forgot to revise it, to, to re actually revise a certain step, and it's this step. It asks you to remove the propeller. Maybe in their prototype it was removable, but in the, the latest one that they have, it's not. I've tried to do it, I, you know, Parents out there, if you're trying to help your kid transform this one, do not remove the propeller. It says remove it and then reattach it in the end. It doesn't work that way, um, which I will show later. Well, we'll show it now, actually, as we, we talk about the figure. But but that that's just the main flaw of the, as, as I see it, of the instruction manual. But, excuse me. All in all, the figure is a great figure and well made by Hasbro. Uh, a lot of people weren't too excited about this one, but I certainly was. So, let's look at him in better detail. He's got this really unique uh, robot mode wherein he has the uh, propellers on his chest and they've gotten folded and it's like he's into warp warp drive. Like, uh, not warp drive, he's in warp mode like not my best impression of warp but uh yeah it looks pretty awesome and i'm really really grown fond of this mold uh he comes with uh with a very articulated body he's got a ball jointed neck he's got a waist swivel his arms go in and out forward and backward bicep swivel hinge elbow hinge wrist 
and that's that one because of transformation he's got a ball hinge hip uh, a knee swivel actually a knee hinge and some to, uh, ankle articulation because of transformation he comes with this incredible mech tech gun uh, that looks small but when you actually push on it it's a gun but then when you push on it when you push on it becomes a blade it's pretty cool you can actually keep it locked in position if you twist the this portion and it looks like a really nice uniclaw like yeah i'm giving you the finger but no just kidding uh, i'm just teasing and then when you twist it back it will sort of god okay i hate these mech tech weapons oh uh, no no don't get me wrong I, I love these i'm beginning to like these mech tech weapons i wasn't too impressed with the idea but they're slowly growing on me so very very cool let's transform him first thing you want to do remove the mech tech weapon and then take off the oh by the way no light piping um these propellers they actually tab all of them tab onto the back wings my suggestion is really don't keep the bottom ones tab and because it's really quite a stretch and as you can see the uh the propeller has sort of bent and over time if you keep it in this position you're going to have warp propeller so what i do is just untab the bottom propellers and just keep the top ones tabbed so that's pretty cool okay and then we go to the propeller step which the instruction says to remove it i tried doing so but it didn't you just pop it up like that and it stays like that rotate okay all right and then uh, do the back wings first okay come on untab the yeah the back not the back wings the, the uh, these actually become the side wings just keep it like that for now and then as you can already um, deduce uh, these parts the shoulder parts they actually become the cockpit uh, what you do is you connect these two panels and cover the face come on now like that go ahead and join the shoulders together like that that's pretty cool go ahead and fold and like that then you have the cockpit Okay, uh, these things, um, okay, let's do it here, go ahead and fold out the forearms, fold the arms in, and okay, okay, there we go, just fold the wings back like that. And what you want to do is really, you want to tab these thrusters onto that. Now these pegs, they tab there, but they tab at an angle. And what you need to do is really position the thrusters or intakes or whatever at an angle. And for folks or parents out there, if your kid is having trouble tabbing this, it's because he's probably tabbing it this way, sideways like that but you have to push it actually at an angle downwards like that so that's pretty cool and then do the same on the other side come on now like that so it's actually it's actually at a slanted angle so that's very cool okay go ahead and pop out the landing gear all right and then the wings they just they stay there and these tabs they tab onto those uh, those ports right there or peg holes like that and as do the other side so that's very, that's nice pretty cool okay and then what you can do is you want to go ahead and well we'll do the we'll do the legs okay um, just push these and they will detach the the back uh, tail fins like that sorry you didn't see it the shins you push them out like that 
and fold out the toes like that. Go ahead and twist them, and as you can already deduce, these will become the tail fins, or the tail, the helicopter tail. Pop out the tail fin, pop out the side tail fin wings. Uh, okay, pop these like that. And then you're supposed to join them, but before you do that, fold them up this way. Like that. And form the rear end of the helicopter. Like that. Go ahead and fold out the landing gear. Fold the upper chest down and then fold the waist up and these pegs obviously they will they will tab into those peg holes right there and there you go there is sky hammer oops sorry there's still that peg right there left to peg into that waist peg hole and there you have sky hammer in his very cool uber cool Helicopter alt mode. Let me see if I can focus. Oh. Okay. So very cool, very nice. Uh, it looks like an Apache, but a mixture of other parts. Somebody please tell me in the comment section below what kind of chopper this is or attack helicopter. Landing gears, they don't actually roll. They're just molded in, but they, they do keep it in a nice display position. These uh, missiles, they you can move them around, you can put them here or whatnot. I like them here in their original positions. The mech tech weapon, you can actually put it here, although it doesn't really make sense to have a huge gun. Well, it, it, yeah, it could work. And then the, uh, the weapon could still work. So he can stab fellow, he can stab opposing Decepticons in mid-air like that. Anyway, stupid joke. Um, he can also mount the mech tech weapon here onto the sides or underneath the uh, wings, so whichever you, you prefer. But, you know, he, he'll, he'll do without the mech tech weapon. So there you go. It's a great, it's a great figure. I, I, I highly think this is a, is a wonderful, wonderful figure. It's a lot better than the Voyager class Megatron. Hands down, definitely. The, that Megatron figure, you, you could, I think you should get that last. But this one, this is one of the first ones I think you, you want to get. Uh, wave 1 and 2 are, were released simultaneously. And uh, just like in Revenge of the Fallen, the first two waves were released uh, early on. And, uh, you know, this is, this is really, really a nice uh, Transformer figure. And Hasbro really did a good job on this one hardly find any fault in it there's even some bars right there that you can peg on clip on some clip on weapons from the hunt for the septicons toy line so very nice very cool i really really like this one i highly recommend it uh so there you go i, I hope a lot of you found this video interesting and informative thank you for supporting the channel i really appreciate it um if you want to give me some feedback, you can write your comments on the video. If you want a more direct response, if, if it's a more private question, you can send me a PM, a, a personal message, instead of writing the comment on my channel because I respond quicker through a message. There you go. Transformers, Dark of the Moon, Voyager Class, Skyhammer. Thanks for watching.